Nigga, hand me that real fast. What? You talking to me? I said, hey, my brother, can you hand me that real fast, bro? Nah, bro, you talking to me? You what? talking to me? A veteran? I'm a motherfucking 100% disabled veteran. Bro, United States prank. Navy. It's a Man, prank. you talking to me like that? You know who you talking to, motherfucker? <laughs> Man, hand me that shit, ball boy. What the fuck you talking to? Bro, I said, can you hand me that, sir? Calm down. I was asking, can you hand me that, man? I don't play that shit, man. I just got off of work. Okay. What? Bro, I was, bro, it's it, it's not recalled for, man. I was literally asking you to hand me that, man. Chill, bro. I didn't mean to do that, man. Chill, man. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't deal with shit like that. Okay, bro. bro it was a prank. Okay, shit. man. It was a prank, old school. Chill. Look at the camera, man. Chill. Hey, bitch ass nigga, hand me that that's, real fast. I said, I can't. So, 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 yeah, man. So, as you can see, a lot of these TikTokers, especially TikTokers, they go into these WalMarts, they go into these Targets, grocery stores, and they start, you know, pranking random people and everything. And I know people in our age, we we don't like that, we don't play that. I know this was happening in the nineties. It it will, it will be a different ball game, different different ball game. So, I'm pass with you guys. How you feel like? How you feel about these TikTok prankers pranking these average people? Uh, Practically, these average people in the Walmart, they, they do the regular shopping and they they and they and found out they're gonna get pranked by these these teenagers, TikTokers. Go ahead, people. I don't, I don't know about did I send it to you guys? There was a recent story that a prankster got shot. I don't know about some dude. I think I think I did send it to you guys. It was a prankster, a YouTube prankster got shot. He didn't get deleted, but he got seriously injured. Like, um, don't play with people. Like you said, you got people that's just literally coming from work. They going through a lot of things. You don't know what's going on in their mental uh, capability. Well, shout out to you, Black Beauty. My bad. I forgot to give you a beautiful shout out. Welcome, Black Beauty. Welcome. Um, Yeah. So you don't know what a person is going through at that moment. And then someone comes around and do a prank on you. It's not cool. I don't. That was I hate those guys. I don't know why they're still around. To me, I think that some of them guys need to get arrested. But they, they're not going to do it because at the same time, you see, they're not really harming people. They're just, they're just doing a prank. But I think now the prank is going too far to the point that now they're insulting people. That's the thing. They're calling people names. They're calling, they're calling them the N-word. They're calling them the B-word. Some, some, some pranks, they go to the point that they, they be spitting on people. So it, it's going too far. And I think at some point, these pranks still got to understand, like, you know, stop doing that because... You want, like I say, one one of the guys really just recently got shot. So these people ain't playing. So just be careful. If you're a prankster and you're watching in, be careful. And to me, I think you should have your own crew. Y'all just go around pranking each other and make it seem like there's just someone that is a random person in the grocery store. That's just my opinion. That's my take. Go ahead. Yo, these people are. Uh, you hear me, Guyo? I'm driving yeah. right now. Right? Okay, cool. These people have staking to another level, bro, and <laughs> he just, they, they do anything for clout, fam. Like, yo, it's not that serious, fam. Like, bro, listen, I have been walking around. I'm always strapped, bro. You see what I'm saying? I, I have been walking around with my with a gun, bro, since I was 14 years old, fam. You see what I'm saying? Like, but the reason, like, yo, I don't want, I don't, I don't. I don't bother nobody, bro. You, they, 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 let's just say that. You see what I'm saying? Like, if somebody come at me with a quote-unquote prank, I don't know I'm, I'm involved in a prank. I got enemies around. You see, growing up and stuff like that. I'm not into that kind of stuff no more. I'm a, I'm a grown man now. But like, you never know, right? Somebody come at you like that in the street, fam. You, bro, I, I, I'm going to do you, fam. I'm sorry. i probably find out about the prank later on. But, yo, you shouldn't be coming at me like that, homie. It's not that complicated, man, to leave people alone, bro. It's not that complicated. Imagine you, I'm pumping my guys and some, and some, uh, 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 and some nigga come over here on some aggressive form, like, bro, I'm going to do you right there, bro. I ask questions, yo, I, I'm a believer that. Shoot first, ask questions later, man, because you, anything is a trap. I'm sorry. Maybe maybe it's wrong for me, but I don't know what, what your intention is, bro. I got to go home, man. Right? I feel you, I feel you on that. Um, there was a, a one prankster. This I and mean, he was in London too. This happened a couple months ago. I don't know if you guys heard on. He went viral. He, he was on a Pierce Morgan show in London. This man, uh, it gets so bad that this man 
knock on somebody's door and it's when to go to random people's houses in the UK. And uh, there was one time he got arrested for it. And and and, that, and that's how bad it's getting in Luke. And, and that's how bad these painters they get they get a very super super bold and want to prank walk these people's houses. And to me, that's a damn no no because you go get somebody's house, yo. Somebody can end you. Now with the now with these people pranking people at you know at these grocery stores at Walmart and Target and everything. To me, if you want to prank somebody, make sure you you, you sign like a uh, what you call it a, a, a waiver if you want to be pranked. And be smart with it. Don't just go around uh, average people, um, people that average people work and you prank somebody. Like I said, some people got enemies out here, yo. And if you're an enemy, they gonna they gonna they gonna check you. If camera or not, they gonna stay. If, like I said, if, if, you, if they if they showing no cameras, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna show what people the camera that they really want to see. And these generation Z's, man, they they gotta stop, man, because. They keep on doing, you know, they're going to see more pranks going to get shot up and everything. You might see somebody get deleted. So, 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 so all these, these uh, young pranks out there, they want to be pranked because it's a quick buck, you know, quick monetization out there because you get paid for it. You better watch yourself because if you keep going with this, you're going to start walking, you know, pranking people in grocery store and start walking in people's houses, yo. It's going to be, it's going to end very, end very, very bad for these pranks because. You gonna sooner or later you gonna start people gonna start to leave these prankers and it's it's gonna be a sad look. Sure. But you know what's crazy, bro? You know what's mm -hmm. crazy? Like they, they want to take it to the stream family. Like you, I, I'm not against the prank, but you can control the prank. I don't know if that makes sense. When I say you yeah. can control the prank is doing between friends. All you have to do is just get you uh, reach out to you a high school homie that that that, that, that probably he like six five, he like two eighty muscle. And you put them on the store and you record him, they're gonna look real, but at least you know like he never gonna pull that on you. You see what I'm saying? You can you can do those kind of things, bro. It still would be it's kind of like they need to learn from do you ever watch those prank that uh, uh the gold digger pranks? Like yeah. uh, you know, you know, you know that that's not real, right? That all that all that all that all that stuff is control. They, they yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fake, yeah. yeah. It's fake. I could yeah, we could tell they they hire a pretty woman. And, and, and he looked like a bong, and next thing you know, he walked into the car, and now the girl is interested. All that is control. They can do the same thing with his brand store. It's not that hard. Yes, yeah. no, you are. Good point. I've been pranked before. Yes, he has. I didn't want to say it, but yeah. No, 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 say it. You can say it by Stephen Joe. I've been pranked by Stephen Joe going to Walmart. Now, I'm a. I'm not a really aggressive person like that. Some things I let roll over my shoulder, but if my mother had been with me, it would have went ugly. People need to be careful. That's why if somebody gets shot in the commission of doing something stupid, I don't mind it. I don't feel bad. I think it's street justice. Bobby Bryan says, I'm not playing with nobody. Where you play is where you lay. And that's a fact. This is the cesspool of YouTube. This is the cesspool of Instagram, Snapchat. These guys don't know how to make no good content, so they're trying to go for the most extreme, thinking that this is going to propel them to stardom. Big companies ain't going to want to deal with you. You ain't going to get no book deal. You're going to end up dead or in jail. We have countless examples of the Kia boys getting shot, when they try to prank Mano, Mano jacked this young boy up, slapped him up in front of everybody for trying to touch his chain. You got, I don't know if you ever seen the country white dudes who walk around with the jumpsuits and say, get me, get me that boy. They get, they've been punched numerous of times by black men. The next level is death. Just like the other queen sister just said in here. You can't go and listen. There was a bunch of white boys who used to go around in the hood. Almost they was they done been bucked at numerous a time. Don't play with people. I don't play with people. I don't play with people, mamas. I don't play with people, children. I don't play with people, grandmothers. I don't play with people at all. I live righteously, so I ain't trying to get involved in it. Please don't play with me because we ready to go to prison. Just like what Poppy said, we bought that action. 
Yeah, but that the thing that we live in, we shout out to Jordan's wife. She's also in the chat. Shout out to her, the queen of KLK Radio. Um, that, that's the thing. Cause remember, we live in today's society where um the new currency is views. It's not money. Yes. It's views. So people say, okay, I gotta find a way to make Sherry Bryant get upset at me so I can go viral, or Bobby Bryant. That's the issue we're facing in today's society. Is because the view is what people think it I need to get. Like you said, I came with the truth. And like um probably say and Jordan say, I'm trying to hit, I'm trying to get that big hit. That one big hit. That one that one video that's gonna make me pretty much go viral. And look, I'm not gonna lie, look what happened with him and that veteran guy. He did get the million views. Now he got 15 million people watch that same clip over and over and over again. And then now you got the young generation say, okay, if he's able to do that, then I can do that. Go ahead. The sad thing about that is you, you're telling the truth, and this is think this is going to get started. How much you going to make off that? Other army and navy guys going to look like we just disrespected a veteran instead of the young boys trying to do the work what we did in. I want everybody to know this coming where we at right now. Us getting to this point, we just getting started. It took us five years to get to this point here. Success takes work. This is the thing that young people need to understand. Success takes works. There's nothing overnight. There's nothing fancy about this. Don't let the glimmer in these guys' light get you misconstrued or, or make your mama come visit you in the coffin. When I learned the streets wasn't real, I walked away from it. I said, man, I ain't getting rich off this. I don't got nothing to show for that. That's why I was not. I got more money now working a regular job and, and going to school than I ever did being in the streets or doing anything dysfunction. It takes work. You have to work at it. Somebody who work at Burger King can be successful. Somebody who cleans trash can be successful if you know what you do with your money. So that stuff that guy doing He's not going to be famous like that. Nobody's going to give you a record deal. You're going to get punched in the face. They're still, listen, they've been doing this for a long time. There's some guys who I've been looking for for years that I still want to punch in the face to this day. This one, the DVD era. This was in New York City. I don't know if you remember this, Poppy. This was a homeless Haitian man. These young guys came and beat the homeless Haitian man and put water all over him. I told myself, whenever I get rich, I'm going to find them and I'm going to skin them good boys alive. Uh, where, where was it? In Bronx? Brooklyn? It was in the Bronx. This was something 20 years ago. This was something 20 years ago that happened. Oh, you talk about like Smack DVD. And, Smack and DVD, Kane but listen City. here. Yeah. I was so traumatized by it that I seen people picking on somebody that wasn't. And this is what this guy is doing. It's people like me who I, I might see that young dude. I might want to punch him in the face just off GP because I'm not scared. I'm not scared like like 